Hi everyone and welcome to this short demonstration of the Payday Stocks Moneyness app. And basically what this is is just simply uh, looking at historical data and giving you average prices of various options based on uh, whether they're in the money or out of the money and how many days are left until expiration. And it just does you, uh, allows you to do a quick search. And we're going to be doing a lot with this program right now. This is not in the normal Payday Stocks login or the PDS Trader login. Uh, we have not converted it over to the PDS Trader just yet, but I did want to go ahead and give you access to it. Uh, we do some of our development on another site and then we uh, then we move it over to the actual uh, PDS Trader. So um, you'll just go to the link that is provided. You'll enter in the same credentials as uh, as your PDS Trader online and you'll have access to this. And uh, to begin with, what you do is you start off and you simply type in uh, SPY or whatever uh, equity or security option that you want to uh, do a quick history on. So I'm going to do SPY and then it allows you to uh, check the date range or uh, just look at the average prices between certain dates. We go back all the way to 2010, but I will go ahead and tell you that uh, weekly options from 2010 uh, through 2000. 14 or 15, I forget now which, uh, did not have more than eight days left. So uh, a new one came on with eight days left. And um, and then in January, I believe of 2015, uh, the, they extended them to six weeks out. We go all the way back, but if you go before uh, January of 2015, I believe, uh, that's the first time that they actually extended them six days out. So if you put in more than eight days, it's only going to go uh, back to uh, what the history provides. Nonetheless, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and search uh, between January 2015 and the current date. And in order for me to do that, all I got to do is click on the date and I can go, let's see, 2015, I'll go January 1st and then the current date August 9th 2016. I'm going to look at calls and I'm going to go uh, one point in the money and then days remaining I'm going to uh, click on seven. And then I'm going to hit run and it's really as simple as that and what it's going to do is it's going to give you spit out this information um, as you can see here the average price of a one point in the money option with seven days left calls in SPY. There are 89 occurrences in the history search. Uh, the average bid is 219. The average ask is 220, uh, 223. The average last 222. And then it uh, breaks it down by week one, week two, week three, week four, and week five. And you can see that uh, between obviously week one and week two, for example, the average price is a little different uh, from a one point in the money option. Uh, so then I can change this to two points and you know hit run. It's going to give me the two point in the money option with seven days left. Uh, I can go to out of the money or I can look at an at the money option as well. Then I can also add a leg, right? So here's leg one and um, in this one it's two points in the money, seven days out. I can add a leg if I want. And so leg two will be a call that is, let's say, three points out of the money uh, with 14 days left and then that's I can do a run so that would be like a, um, a slight bearish trade so here's leg one the average price yeah, if I do the last is going to be 294 and with leg two the average last is going to be 85 so that's going to give me an average spread between this type of option I'm going to know what my average spread is in uh, that scenario so it uh, at an average last of 294 on leg one and an average last of 85 on leg two, then that lets me know that I should be able to get at least about two to uh, two dollars to two uh, ten on that spread, and I can add more legs in there as well. I can also export, and right now, if you export, it'll export it into a an Excel, and it will give you every single date and the the price of that option, so you can go back and look at every single date if you want as well as where the price was and where the strike was um, eventually that'll be uh, when you uh, it won't be exported out it'll actually be available on a, a separate web page and it'll just spit that information on a separate web page for you to view but for now you can export it into an Excel document so that should uh, help you you can 
research until your heart's content. Obviously, again, we're going to be doing a lot more with this in the future, but I want to go ahead and give you access to this now, and I look forward to your feedback.